It's Lockdown Licks, episode number nine. I'm losing track of how many of these I've done now. Uh, I've had a couple of questions from uh, Manfred Dukers, who's based in the Netherlands, and he's got questions in two areas, uh, which I'm going to address individually in separate videos, although there is a degree of connection between the answers to each of his questions. And one of them was about soloing at low dynamic levels and uh, trying to play quietly but with intensity and the underlying topic here the underlying issue is that of stick heights and i think a lot of us and i've been really guilty of this in the past tend to play too much way more than you need uh, I mean, I was always naturally really quite a loud player. And then in the 80s, I got into Mola. And as a result of which, a drummer who was already too loud became unbearably loud. And I did, for many years, neglect the lower end dynamic range. There's something great about drums and cymbals being played softly. They really sing. So... Um, Pay attention to being able to control. And in order to do that, you'll need to keep a closed, and that's not a tight, but a closed grip on the stick. So when you're doing your daily hand routine, just get it right down to like zero stick heights. And keep those accents right down here and that will really help you start to develop the control of the low end dynamics and then just for it to be like really crisp and clear and not kind of mushy so 